Good evening, I'm Dennis McMillan, principal at Farmington Central High School, inviting you to our National Honor Society induction. Uh, this is March 7th, uh, 6 o'clock p.m. And without any further ado, I will turn it over to our mistress of ceremonies, Ms. Kylie Hayden. Good evening, my name is Kylie Hayden and I am the president of Farmington Central High School National Honor Society. I would like to welcome you to the induction ceremony of the 2020-2021 National Honor Society. This organization recognizes the excellence that members display in each of the four pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These pillars describe the leadership, high academic standards, and good character that are displayed by the members. We will, be we will begin the program with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The first pillar is scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light that which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. The third pillar is leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. It guides one through life and which, when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may help to prove by example that we value character. We would like to recognize our new members. The new inductees of the National Honor Society are as follows. Addison Neal. Adian Basali. Annabelle Easley. Ashley Jansen. Devin Johnson. Emma Vallis. Jack Stevens, Jaden Van Winkle, Jessamine Britt, Josh McMillan, Keegan Lahart, Kendra Renfro, Kylie Turner, Lily Sherum, Lindsay Marinich, McKenna Hintz, Rachel Elliott, Riley Reed, Sam Depperman, Sam Fletcher, Sydney Barton, Victoria Benedict, Wyatt Perkins. 
At this time, we will lead the recitation of the pledge. New inductees, please raise your right hand and join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge myself to uphold. I pledge myself to uphold. The high purposes of the National Honor Society. The high purposes of the National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. Which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. High standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. High standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society, and I hope that you continue to do so within this organization. I would like to thank you all for its All right, thanks guys. Have a safe and wonderful evening.